Thank you for the blessings. Papa God, thank you for the lessons. It's not for you, I like for day inside. You put in us, they come out like nesting. Yeah, that's storyline. You cast me in a movie, I can act fine. I was dirty on the ground, you understood mine. I'm a fly out on this. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it is Sunday night. Hey, man, on the Tenement TMA radio show. Hey, tonight we just thank and praise God for a new day. We thank and praise God for what He's done, what He continues to do in our life. And we want to welcome you to the best gospel praise talk show. Show in America. I'm your host, Minister Acker, tonight, and we're going to be talking about a few things tonight. And we got the weather coming up, so I want you to sit back and think about all the things that God has already done in your life. Think about how He many times He's already blessed you. Think about every time you turn around, He continues to bless you and look out for you. Hey, we want to let you know that God is good, and because He loves us, He gave His only begotten Son to us that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life so we want you to sit back relax and listen to the best music around and invite your friends to listen to the best gospel show the tma radio show Yes, you yes, that's the name of my king. That and rose in three days, man. What a feel. Wanna behold your kingdom, Lord? That's my plea. Oh, praise to my king, he's the greatest. And his love so sweet has the greatest. What can I run without him? Empty cause. He's the key to my success. I'll praise him. Me. I'll thank him. This when I know your words. Now protection. Make we just stay thank him. Me. Make we just stay leave him. Never slack in praising Papa God. That I'll Right, we're going to go to the weather forecast tonight we're looking at mostly cloudy high of 44 degrees monday mostly clear high of 68 with a low of 42 tuesday high of 68 with a low of 48 wednesday light rain mostly cloudy high of 61 with a low of 51 thursday light rain high of 63 with a low of 50 friday partly cloudy high of 70 with a low of 50 and saturday High of 76 with a low of 53. And that's your seven day forecast. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, those that are just tuning in, thank you for listening to the TMA radio show every week. Every Sunday night, we're here between the hours of 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. We did start a little late tonight. We have 10 after 13 after 10. So we just keep it on, keep it on, because we will do the show, whether we start at the time we say or we have a extended time and we will be broadcasting. But again, we want to thank you for tuning in. We pray that God that bless you today. Amen. Because we know that a lot of times people they don't get to go out to church and we know that here on the show, we're going to talk about God. We're going to praise him. We're going to pray for one another. We're going to give you the information that's out here in the community and we're going to just do it. We're just going to be family. We want to let you know that this show goes worldwide. And right now, we talked last week. Uh, right now, I want to just add to what we said last week about the women. I had a couple of women that was what they were saying was the women that are having the single ladies, the single mothers uh, have kids out here. And they're struggling because the men 
won't step up to be men. The men want to run around and do their thing in the community. They want to sit around and see how many women that they can impregnate. They want to sit around and see how many women they can cheat on. They want to see how, how much they can connive out of a woman. But men, when are you going to stand up and take care of your responsibility? When are you going to stand up and take care of your children? These women need someone to step up to the plate. But then we're going to cover... Not only talk about the men that's not doing their responsibility, but women, why are we choosing the type of men that's not going to be men and not be role models in our children's lives? I mean, you got to know some kind of signs of a brother that you talk to that he's not a good parent or look at what his relationship is in his home and, and kind of, uh, you know, make an assessment whether this brother going to be good to have a child with. And not only that, is he a good candidate for a husband? I mean, you know, you got... Signs are here to tell you that he's aggressive, that he's abusive, that he he's going to go out and, and party. He's going to go out and stay gone all night. He's going to be gone two or three days, and he's going to come back. That is signs right now that he's not going to be a, a good candidate for you to spend your life with because he first ain't going to take care of himself. Because when he's running around, dipping and dabbing, chasing women, all types of women from one corner to the next corner, to the next hill, to the other valley. He ain't got time to take care of himself because he's so busy running and lashing after everything else. So therefore, he ain't going to be able to take care of you. He ain't going to be able to take care of them children because he ain't settled in his own mind. He first got to be settled in his own mind and get his own mind straight and don't have to feed off of going to pillar the post. But a man that is true, first going to seek God and follow God's heart and going to do what's pleasing unto God. Now granted, we make mistakes. We are not perfect people. We were born into iniquity. But we have some signs on the inside. That let, we should have something of God that comes out of us. Amen. That, that shines throughout your community. Throughout your life. You see a brother out here with his pants sagging down. He on the block. All he every day you see him on a block. That means he ain't got no job to go to. He 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 out there from from the su time the sun come up until the si time the sun come go down, and he's out there twenty four seven. How many days of the week is he gonna work a job, a legitimate job? So therefore, that brother might not be a good candidate. You might just wanna continue down the road a little further. But we wanna hear from you tonight, women. We want to uh, hear your voice. Hit us up on the line. 919-521-4741. Again, 919-521-4741. If you need prayer, the prayer line number is 919-526-4916. And we're going to keep it going with In Your Hands on the TMA Radio Show.
Hey, all right. We wanted to let you know that uh, we some people reached out to us, and you know, people are being hurt all across the globe. Every time you turn around in different ministries, people are saying they're getting hurt. And I just want to add to what they was telling me because you know there shouldn't be no net, no money calling amounts in the church. And if you don't know what that means, if that's not in your church, there are ministries out that call for fifty to for hundred dollar line, for a fifty dollar line, for twenty five dollar line. The word don't talk about how much a person should give, but ten percent of your earnings of your first fruit. God said in your tithe in a tenth of your earning, a tenth. He would he would throw a blessing. He would he would throw throw a blessing upon you. You know the word says that if we do what the word says. God's gonna bless us anyway. So why are we why are we calling out hundred dollar lines stand in the middle? Why are we calling out fifty dollar lines stand on the right side? Why are we saying twenty five dollars stand on the left side? And everybody that don't have a hundred, that don't have fifty, that don't have twenty five. They might have a couple of dollars and that's all they have, but they want to give it to the goodness of their heart. And then because you made them feel like they don't, you know, just because they don't have the hundred, the other fifty, or the twenty-five, they, they feel like they feel bad. So what I would need you to understand is that we shouldn't be doing this because the words say if we abide by what God says, we're gonna be blessed anyway. We don't need nobody to tell us if you bless if you bless us with this hundred dollar. God going to do. God already said in his word what he's going to do. And people and then you got the morning service, you asking for all this money and then you say, "You know what? We don't we need we need a thousand more dollars to make meet what make what we need." And then you you still going around, "Can I get somebody with 25? Can I get somebody with 35?" And you trying to meet that money, that and that quota, that that amount that you're looking for, that number that you're seeking. God is not in that because God ain't called us to do that. He didn't. He didn't call us to do that. You know, we, we, we are blessed by what God say. God say our tithes and our offers. Okay, we're blessed on that. But not only that, but charity. We're blessed through charity. Charity. We're blessed through just get, being able to just give, to be a blessing to somebody else. There's so many other ways that we're blessed just because we're following him. Just because we're doing, doing what he wants us to do and helping other people in the community. Helping our neighbor, loving our neighbor, praying for folk, trying to help the sick, trying to help the disabled. These are things that we do that God, we already know God going to bless us. We don't do it because we know we're going to get blessed, but we do it because of the God in the inside of us. Amen. Now, I'm trying to tell you now, people are being hurt. They, in the morning service, they got to pay all this money. Then they got to come back for a five o'clock evening service. They got to pay some money. Then then after a while, then what, what I was told was that <laughs> after a while, you know, the first Sunday might be uh, to pay the pastor's uh, money. Everybody got to come up with a certain amount of hundred dollars, and then the next Sunday, all the men got to come up with twenty five, thirty five dollars, and then the next Sunday, everybody got to come in with this amount of money. Then you got to come out with this amount of money. God said, if you pay your tenth, if you pay your tithes and offering, He's gonna bless you. You don't have to worry about all these um, amounts. God didn't call us to call the amounts out. Now, if, if it lay on your heart and said, Lord, you know, we got this building fund. And you know, we need to take care of the house of God. I'm not saying that. We do need to take care of the house of God. I believe it. And we do need to take care of the pastor. I believe. It. But in a godly way, in the way God designed. Because we need to take care of the business, the building. Because the, the church needs to be the temple. The amen needs to be taken care of. And it takes money to do that. Uh, we know that. But this is what you do. You say, Lord... You know, uh, we hear and we need to, uh, this. We need to pay for our building fund, Lord. And then He'll tell you. You know, you can go out here and, and if God give it on your heart, you say, you know, we got to pay our, our building fund, whatever you have. I honestly, I honestly believe that if you go out as pastors and, and instead of calling money line, money numbers, hundreds and fifties. And say, you know, we got to pay for our building. This is our temple. This is the temple of God. This is we take care of this house. And, then, and we have uh, we need some things and we need some money in our building fund. So whatever amount that you have, amen, in your heart to give, give it. That that covers it. And I believe that you will get over and above. But when you're calling out hundred dollars and two hundred dollars, people can't even pay their they light bill. You know, this ain't this ain't God. If they just honor God, if they give what they can, because God said that if we can't take care of home, we how can we take care of the church? 
See, if you can't pay your light bill, you struggle to pay your car no, you can't keep your mortgages together, and you can't keep your family uh, intact, how can you take care of the church? Take care of your home. We're going to take care of the church. But all of it work hand in hand. It do. And I just need to know what you want to say about it. Hit me up on the uh, lines, 919-521-4741, and we're going to keep it going. the sound of your voice. He loves it when you tell him how great he is. sounds praise you amen we're going to be praying for those that um in nepal the earthquake that killed 2500 people and we're going to be praying for everyone that may be in need of praying for because we know that god is an on time god and we know god is able to take care of every situation we know god is able to fix every situation we know god is is an on time god and we want to be in prayer right now Heavenly Father, God, we call upon your holy and righteous name right now. God, we know that you're the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. God, that we know that you are our everything. And God, we pray right now in the name of your son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God, in every situation you touch right now. God, I ask that you touch right now Tyrone. Touch his kidneys. Touch his spirit. I know he might be down, God. I know he might be going through stress right now. God, I ask if you just bless him in a mighty way, God. Touch those that are uh, uh, right now in that country that are looking for survivors, God, due to the earthquake. God, we know that you're on time and we know that you're a healer. We know that you're a way maker. We know that you're a, a deliverer. And God, we need you to touch right now and all across this world. We need you to bless in a mighty way, God. Touch our children, God. Touch our way, God. Touch our feet, God. Touch our spirit, God. Touch our soul, Lord. Direct our path, God. And renew our strength. And God, continue to cover us with your blood, Lord God. Continue to, to shield us from the enemy, God. I pray that every de demon, every evil spirit that's lurking in people, that is around our community, I cast it away. I, I, I bind it up in Jesus' name that it be released and, and turned back and sent back 
into the pits of hell where it come from, God. And God, I ask if you just forgive us for our sins. Forgive us for our wrongdoers. Forgive us for the way we treat one another, God. And God, that, that at the end, God, you get the glory. You get the praise. You get the honor. And God, we love you right now for giving us a time to get it right, God. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy, Lord. And God, I ask if everyone that's listening to the show tonight, that you touch their home, that you touch their spouse, that you touch their children, that you touch the parents, God, the grandparents, Lord, that you touch the neighbors, God, and touch the co-workers, God, in a mighty way, God. And God, let us let us continue to preach your word and teach your word to a dying nation, God, and touch the leaders, God. Shake them up, stir them up, stir them up, God, that they want to do right, that they want to lead right. And God, let them not sleep at night, God, in order for them to show, to see what you want them to see. And God, we ask if you just bless us, lead us, God, continue to anoint the ministers, continue to anoint the prophets, continue to anoint the, the, the bishops, all oh, the pastors, God, continue to touch the deacons, the mothers, Lord, and God, help all across this world, Lord, continue to touch us and be, and be with us, God, in this last and evil, evil day, God, and with God, we know that at the end, you're going to get it. All the praise, God. And we thank you now for continuing to watch over us each and every night, each and every day. We thank you for food on our table, God. We thank you for a right mind, God. We thank you for good health, God. Even when we don't have good health, God, we thank you for allowing us to know that, that you're in control, control of everything. And God, this is my prayer tonight. There's somebody, there's somebody listening that might want to get up, give up. Somebody that might not have a house that house to live in somebody might be living on the street some child might be kidnapped some somebody might be harmed god i ask of you just touch right now in a mighty way all across this world god god i know what you're doing i know that if we pray yeah i know that if we get back on our knees god i know that if you 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 you, you touch us even the more god as we continue to just be a a light god that, that you're gonna show us the way and god i know that you calling for, for holding this in this world and god i pray that my brothers and sisters be able to make it in god i pray that that you that you forgive them and continue to forgive them god and, and thank you for your son jesus that died on the cross for us thank you for sacrificing your son and god we love you tonight and we continue to praise your holy name and this is my prayer tonight in jesus name amen amen and amen
so good amen god has been so good amen and we want to thank you and you for listening to the sun uh sunday night show the tma radio show and we're gonna uh be back tomorrow night monday night between 7 and 8 p.m so tune in and tune up and invite somebody in if you need prayer email minister Acra show at gmail.com again that's minister Acra show at gmail.com and we're out of here.